I know, what am I supposed to say? Hey, I'm drum kind of angry. Hey, I heard you were a wild drum. We are on a freshwater drum hunt this week. I got my good friend Dylan Beck with me on the show today. Best friend, Dylan Beck. A guy I know named Dylan Beck today on Uncut <laughs> Angling. We're hunting big drum, and we've been kind of doing this for the last few days. We've met in the middle. Dylan's from Gillum, Manitoba. I'm from Winnipeg, Manitoba, and you got these two inland seas basically between us, Lake Winnipeg, Lake Manitoba. There's huge bodies of water. Fairly underfished overall. They've got rivers all around them, which present a lot of angling opportunities, especially in the spring, and it draws all sorts of drum in. Oh, they're heavy in here. We've uh, tried different techniques. Mostly bottom fishing. Mostly bottom fishing, yeah, using shrimp and worms and minnows. And But we really got dialed in on a different technique than most people use and found that it's the best bite we've had using crankbaits, so that's basically what we're gonna do today. We've got these fish drawn to the current and they're gonna be up and down this river, not so much in the lake at this time of year, and you get any kind of a dam, a breakwater, any obstruction in the river and it's gonna create some really ideal fishing spots that have crazy concentrations of yeah. bait fish and drum, right? You could catch drum all throughout this faster water, but they're just stacked so thick in the eddies because that's where all the small bait fish is. The slacker moving water, it's easier for the bait fish to swim. And exactly, you've actually got minnow catchers that are using these eddies right now to catch minnows and sell minnows all across the province, all across the prairies. And that's why the drum are in there also, using it as a... a it's like easy fast food for fish. It's exactly like, like that. Like McDonald's for fish. Yeah, like uh, I'll pull you up just a little more and then throw right up into that fast current, right on the corner almost. Nice. Just gotta wait for it to catch and stick here. Now we got the uh, boat leveled out here. You can see we're right on the edge of that current seam. We can hold our cranks. We don't even have to do that much casting, or we can do casting, or we can just hold Basically it. Basically muffin troll it. What does muffin trolling mean? Well, you just dangle it out there and let the current do the work. And the muffin part? That's what I've always called it. If we can flick into the eddy or down this way. Do you want black or purple, Dylan? Black. All black? You know that. Okay, here's my first cast. Dylan's in already. Working out the back of the boat in this eddy, we got water changing directions, all sorts of different current speeds. Dylan's on. First cast. That is awesome. Look at that. This fish is peeling line on Dylan. These big fish in this current, you just, sometimes you can't even turn them. He has that crank munched. Okay, this is actually a really big drum. The beauty of fishing with a buoy on the anchor is I'm just gonna pop that off, unclip it, throw all that rope and the buoy in the water, and then we can move downstream with this fish. This way we're not gonna put too much force on those hooks. As that fish runs downstream, we're gonna catch up with it and scoop it with a net and go from there. He's got it right down in his mouth though, eh? Yeah. Looks like the, the kids have one there on shore too. Isn't that so great seeing kids? We've been watching them for a little bit and they're just absolutely hammering them offshore. Big roll, big roll. Big drum. Nice one. Oh, yeah. Yes! Oh. That's a lot better than your average drum. <laughs> That's a nice big fish. <laughs> Hammered that crank. Not what you normally see. Yeah, really. Not and not bad for what well, we were fishing for a minute. First cast of the day. First cast for Dylan there. Big, beautiful drum. Just gonna get him right back in the water. What an amazing first fish. Big, old. Come on, buddy. There he goes. Not bad for a first fish, eh? Not bad, <laughs> I got that buoy up there still. We're just gonna go right back up, tie on, and- Yeah, we've drifted quite a ways. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't have to leave, do I? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> just clipping on again here. Dylan, you got that? Yeah. Take number two, back in the sweet spot here, right above this eddy, kind of alongside it. Like I was saying before, Dylan, Hooked up with that fish. Here's your weapon, Dylan. So rudely hooked up to that monster. That was a nice interlude. <laughs> nice big drum. We got current ripping in all different directions, which actually makes bait fishing really hard because it lifts your weight up as the boat's swiveling back and forth. So a rappella like this, working in the current, diving down and thumping those rocks, hitting the different current is actually a lot better way to target those fish. And we got a really thin line. It's helping get these wraps down to seven, eight feet in this current. A lot of people think that that current is gonna help that, that bait dive really deep, but it almost maxes out the bait and brings it up higher in the water column. Dylan's got another Hooked one. Hooked up. It almost 
works against you in terms of diving down really deep like that. So the most important thing is that really thin line with the Power Pro. Hey, I heard you were a wild drum. This one's smaller. Even the smaller ones in this, find them in this current, they just feel so huge. They Double header, go over me, over me Dylan, over me. Are you under me? Yep. Oh. I don't think so, no. We've been fishing for, what, 20 minutes? And the fish are so stacked up in here that we're, we're popping double header drum on crankbaits. This is awesome, Dylan. You got a decent sized one. I think mine's gonna be a lot How bigger. How could it get any better than this? It couldn't. Should we pop that buoy and go pick up the caraman? I'm just gonna pop this one out here. This is one fish of the double header. I'm sure his is at least twice as big. This is smaller than the average size we've been catching, but it's still nice. You want to net him on this side right here, Dylan? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Another one. Second half of this double header here. Just another nice wide 24, 25 incher. And there he goes. Hey, Dylan, let's get those cranks back in, bud. Crank up another couple. Fish? No. Was a fish. Was a bite, at least. Nope. Just another pick rig. Nice. Another how one for the collection there, Dylan. How many have we picked up already? Look at that. Here's the grab bag. We've got, I guess we're in a mildly popular fishing spot and people like to bottom fish here. There's some, there are some jigs, but mostly pick or rigs as Dylan just picked up there. And what we're, we're using is totally different than that. As you can see that crankbait, quite, quite an active bait in comparison. Here's the minnows that live here. You can see the profiles on the, on the lure we're using and the minnows here is almost identical, except rather than having these minnows skewered onto a pickle rig, laying on the bottom, the fish having to come up, pick it up, and drag that weight around, now we've got our bait shimmering in the current, just the same way these minnows would be shimmering in the current, except ours is a, a bigger, flashier option. And that's why we're keying in on bigger fish because we've seen them catch a bunch of drum offshore here, and they've all been eating size, if that is possible for drum. <laughs> Look at you here, all tangled up. You gonna get that for me? Yeah, you wanna just cut that? You That's a fresh pickle rig, yeah. It's a lot of valuable components Probably on there, still Dylan. usable. Uncut Angling is proudly partnered with Alumacraft Fishing Boats, Humminbird Electronics, Minn Kota Trolling Motors, Shimano Reels, G-Lumis Rods, Power Pro Line, 